What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flocker with the comics reaction where we smash, dash, and we react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future, future reactions, man. Hope everyone's having a positive, productive day, man. We're going to have an interesting one. We're going to go over some classic videos that were viral at one time, man, and uh, do a little reaction, man. A couple of these are my favorite ones. Um, we're going to start it off. Let's kick it off, man. It's going to be good right here. Let's get it. I think we'll start with uh, one that sits all off right here, man. Here we go. Bam! I'm one oh, of the yeah. heroes. Yeah. Can we talk to you? Do you mind? What do you oh. want to talk about? What happened today? Well, well, went straight out of Dogtown. Escape. Kind of hitchhiker, man. This dude gave one of the most classic interviews ever, man. He seems like a surfer slash hippie. You know, he was involved in a serious crime uh, years later, man. I think it was either a homicide or a serious... I think it was a homicide, actually, with a man that tried to lure him into his home or something like that. Or it was a serious assault where he robbed the dude. Um, but other than that, man, he seems like a like a very interesting kid, man. <laughs> he has no concept whatsoever that he's doing an interview with a newsman. Right? Look at it. But he's, he's dead serious, man. I've met some people just like him, man. And they're good-hearted individuals. They just have no filter. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. Sometimes having no filter, you say what you feel and you say what you mean. It's over by now, a random dude picks him up that has a car. He's talking about some crazy shit. I have a feeling, man, that <laughs> I have a feeling that they were doing drugs together, man, or something. Something just isn't adding up, man. I never really investigated his case or not, what not as far as regards this issue. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. How many drugs do you guys think he was under the influence of to this day, man? I say at least three. At least. You know, this time I'm going to look it up. I have you guys right here. The reaction. Hitchhiker Cop, seeing what the case is, man. But there was a case I remember reading about it a while ago. It's a couple years old. Let me look at it real quick. Because, you know, he's a likable character, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? he's not. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. He doesn't, you know, ask for much. His, name, his real name is Caleb Lawrence McGillivray. He was, yes, he was re, uh, found guilty of first degree murder in 2019. This incident happened in Fresno, believe it or not. Okay, the murder conviction happened in New Jersey. He, he, uh, he'd been drugged and raped. Okay, allegedly he had been drugged and raped by the guy. You know what I'm saying? So he before this he was actually doing a lot of stuff uh, sex with bad just to get paid, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, that was like his hustle. So apparently when he was with that dude, that was probably his hustle. But the time that from the accident until now, where have you been? Well, you started you started following. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, it's just it's, it's a shame that sometimes you know uh, people take that path, man, and they probably engage in activities that they don't want to, man. Maybe he's gay. I don't know. He I can tell he had a little sugar in his tank. I just read that right now. You know what I'm saying? They found him guilty. He got sentenced to 57 years, man. This is what it is, right? Okay, let's go to the next video, man. Next video file is going to be... Let me see which one I'm going to put first, man. Oh, these guys are these guys cracking me up. Let's rock it. Look at this shit. Look at this guy. Let me tell you a, a little something about my family, huh? I come from a very, very long line of family times. And you know, my mom always says, huh? These guys, man, are hard to take even serious, man. When they come up in this video, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They have a couple other rap videos, man. The dude in the background with the shirt off, he raps, man. Um... They're kind of like an Antifa slash, like, a, you know what I'm saying? Little group of stuff with a, that does little videos like this to get, you know, the attention and whatnot, man. I, I don't really see them as pretty well. And, you know, my mom always told me, you never want to be the nail. Never. Never that. You never. want to be the fucking hammer. Tell me. The hammer. Because once you become the hammer, 
so you become a stop. <coughs> stop, baby. We have two. We're just a basic ass. That's why I got all these hammers. Yeah, man, this is a, a, a political radical group, man. You know what I'm saying? They do little rap songs and so forth, man. I forgot the name of it. Anybody know it? Please put it in. Put it in there, man. This video cracks me up every fucking time. Now, watch how this video ends, guys. This from my bloodline. Fucking bloodline. 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 Oh shit, man. Sorry, man. This shit, I gotta do that part again right there, guys. This part gets me right here. Watch. Every fucking time, man. And it's Dude. Fucking... Ah! Ah! Oh, damn, my time. Oh, okay, roll. Yeah. oh man. Yeah, man. I gotta do a little bit more research on that, man, but that was funny, man. Got another one, another quick little reaction for you guys, man. If you guys like this type of stuff, man, hit the comments. Let me know. I'm trying to mix it up. I'm gonna do different things. Uh, I'm gonna go also do prison stuff, prison channels, and different reactions, books, everything. But I don't want this channel to be just one dimensional. I want to be able to just to tap in and just do different things, react to different things from what my perspective is, man. You know what I'm saying? And th these ones are the ones that I think were funny. Now the last one. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one before, but this one fucking, this girl, I've seen girls like this on the streets for reals, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch, you're, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, Ketchup Mustard? Yeah, what's up? Tony Woo, Boss Man. I own the satellite. I own Facebook. I put a million dollars on Italian Mafia. That's my idea. She's just all scatterbrained. She's all out there. I've met bitches. I met one bride one time. She said she was on fucking fire. I shit you not, man. She started saying she was on fire. Another bride one time, man. She seemed normal. We get to her friend's house and she, she starts writing all this crazy shit like fucking sex and fucking all this weird shit, man. I'm telling you guys right now, I've met some fucking weird chicks. And at first you think they're normal, you know think, and then the next thing you know, so you see something wrong. There was a, a bulldog chick that uh, uh, I was talking to one time. It was my homeboy's aunt, right? And um, she was normal at first, but as she got on the dope a little bit more and more, next thing you know, she started fucking hearing things. Like she'd be talking to her like so hot or whatever, all this crazy shit. Tried to grab my homeboy's fucking uh, uh, daughter, man. Real talk, man. And then um, she was just saying weird things, man. And fucking, I, I go, she's at my house one time. I go and I come in. She's just out there fucking not naked, looking at me all fucking weird. I'm like, you know what? Get your clothes on. Get the fuck out of here, man. I've seen bras just like this, man. <laughs> I'm not joking. Why are you recording on my own phone? Crack kill. This is a lawsuit Say, get out of right here. here. What get is out for the yes? Oh, what is for missiles and national security of the United States and blowing the cover of ketchup mustard? And she said blowing the cover of ketchup mustard. Right. And yes, of the architect company that is for international. You can face a federal pension. You can face a federal pension, man. So yeah, apparently they're going to give you some money. You can face a federal pension over ketchup and mustard. Now, U.S. Marshal, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do would be easier to get square law. Now, Nuke just fucked up. Now, right here, my nickname Who's is that? King. It's your fucking crazy ass back. Wait, Look, don't record check me. this out. Well, she's going to switch up. She's going to redirect this into a fucking imaginary friend. Go get some, hey, go get some mayonnaise, nigga. Bitch, you fucked up. I don't give a fuck. Go tell the army. That's my shit you're on. U.S. Marshal. You hey, you better get back. you better get this shit on uh, here. I'm gonna fuck. What's up, Kelly? What's up, everyone? Internet, I'm running this shit. I'm <laughs> oh shit, man! Remind me of some some other, some other one I know named Taylor as well, man. They fucking little cats and shit, man. Just like this shit, man. I'm 
on this shit. I got those pipes to check. And yeah, those are my satellites. What's up? P, who's Tim? I own that shit. Now, Michelle, what's so fun? I have. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, some people get all scatterbrained and their thinking goes out the, the window, man. Schizophrenia is, is a big issue with meth at times, though, too, though, induced schizophrenia, where they start to see things, think things, and whatnot, man. And the bad thing about it, right, is everything has either meth and fentanyl on it, or fentanyl, or just meth. They just fucking mix everything with something, man. So you gotta be careful. And the satellites. So why the fuck do we need a building for a people <laughs> working when we can just do it down the tip of a salad? That's my favorite sign. Ketchup for must. We were trying to save people for tax. <laughs> U.S. Marshal Randy Dunja, you're blowing my cover. Now don't get a damn drug. <laughs> J.K. for reals, man. You know you gotta pray for these people. I know it's a little bit funny some of these theatrics and stuff, man, but still. At the end of the day, man, praying that human beings just like us, man. I know sometimes we laugh at things because we see it. It's hard not to, man. You know, I mean, she's stir crazy right there. She's a J cat. Keep it 100. But still, you got to pray for her, man. Now, right there, you just keep this for the person and you. Now, what's up? My rocks. Bitch. You shut the fuck up. Yeah, you better. You better come in to me. Who the hell is she talking to, man? That's what I want to know. I'd be asking questions and shit, man. I'm going to make some money. I'm going to win out. I'm going to win out. I've never had any of this, so I don't know what it feels like. I've been smoking, man. I don't care. I like this. I like this. Yeah, you're going to make my fucking Yeah, you're going to make my all my chips. Who are you talking to? My chip at the end. Oh shit. You didn't know that. I was mad at you, Paul. I was mad at you. Oh shit, your doors are. Who that is coming out of your apartment? I'm not bad. These dudes are playing straight up, man. You know, um, man, this this kind of reminds me of, like someone probably out there fucking in, uh, shit. She said, What's up, Cali? So she knows she's probably from California then. Hey, Who's coming out to your apartment? Went to your apartment. Yeah, somebody, in a, somebody in a black suit went to your apartment. CIA. Yeah. Got the FBI in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, for today's reaction is like this. This is all I got, man. Three kind of classic Bible videos, man, that were kind of uh, back in the days used to make me fucking laugh. I had to rewatch all these over and over again, man. Hope you guys have a good positive day. It's your homie Big Flacco from a comics reaction. Till next time. I'm out.